Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the family, guys. So grab your tea, grab your tree, grab your drink. Do whatever you need to do to get comfortable because Tash is going to spill the tea straight no chaser. It is what it is, guys. So put yourself where you belong. It could be saying he, it could be a she, it could be saying they, it could be you. So please put yourself where you belong, okay, guys? Let's dive in. Spirit guides, ancestors, oracles of the highest white light. I call you Zen and I ask for a clear, precise channel message from a beautiful collective. What do you want them to know? Anything other than the highest white light? I'm closing that door now, please, and thank you. All right, guys, let's tap in. Now, I'm going to do it a little bit differently this time, okay? So, right off the bat, you got the five of Gabriels coming out, okay? So, there's definitely a challenging situation, okay? Somebody feels like you're withdrawing from the drama of others. Now, uh, it's time to have patience with yourself and those around you, okay? Because somebody is definitely being defeated. It says it's time to take the lead. Okay, be the leader. And it says, show others how it's done. You can help others, okay? So it's time to help others, guys. And then it says, you can't go back to yesterday, okay? So be in the present moment. And one more, sir, guys. Thank you. And then we have curiouser and curiouser, discovering, uh, inquiry weirdness and curiosity and impossible things okay working through disbelief imaginative leaps and fresh perspectives all right so somebody sees you doing impossible things right now you're taking the lead you're showing other people the way and you know that you can't go back to yesterday and this is why somebody feels a little bit defeated because you ain't you ain't dealing with the drama of the external energies okay so let's see what's going on here spirit guides what do you want to tell my collective right off the bat? And then we're going to dig in to the tarot cards, okay, and see what's going on. There's a masculine who is trying, being assisted to get out of some kind of illusion. They see a lot of passion with you or they have a lot of passion. Take it as it resonates, okay, guys? But this, M this uh, divine masculine is coming in, wants to celebrate with you. Or there's some kind of third-party external energies that are causing somebody to feel defeated. And this is why somebody knows that we are not going to entertain them. Spirit, what's going on here? Yeah, somebody sees you as the sun. And they are definitely reflecting, okay? So this masculine is reflecting on these third parties, on this external energy, and they feel very rejected, fragmented, and lost because they're not able to celebrate something. They're in a lot of regret right now. Something happened in the autumn time, and they feel like their gifts have been taken from them, okay? So they see that you're making impossible things happen, but for some reason, they feel very rejected from you right now. Spirit, what's going on here? Let's see what's going on here. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as you're coming in to show love to the channel. Spirit, guys, what's going on here? Yeah, somebody is feeling very tortured. They're feeling like the victim, okay? Or somebody has victimized you. Take it as it resonates, guys. Bottom of the deck, the government, okay? So somebody is going through some kind of court system or somebody is dealing with the 5D law. Take it as it resonates. But there's a war going on here. Somebody has traumatized you by trying to murder and assassinate your character. But your accomplishments are here. You have a brand new slate, guys. You are the psychic, okay? So you are tapping in the high priestess. Somebody sees you as a gypsy or a prophet. And there's bullies here trying to really get, I don't know, this masculine may be looking at these third parties as bullies. They're very curious of you. They want to discover something new. They can't go back to yesterday, so they're taking the lead. They know that you help a lot of people. So these flying monkeys, these bullies that thought that you were easy target, they thought that you, they could scapegoat you by torturing you, well, they had another thing coming because you're the high priestess prophet, and you got a brand new beginning, and a lot of people see your achievements. Now, a lot of people, these bullies, may have tried to murder and assassinate your character, but now they are going to war with the ancestors or some kind of legalities, guys, and now they feel tortured because they victimized the wrong fucking person. Five of wands. Look, it's the devil at the bottom of the deck, guys. So somebody is very... 
much in this uh, codependent energy. They feel like they're being cursed or they're uh, possessed. Take it as it resonates. It doesn't have to be. It's just a dark energy because of this bully, this tyrant kind of energy. Now, so it feels like they can't go back to yesterday. So they're looking and seeing, was I projecting or am I reflecting? Like a lot of people are doing a lot of work right now because of this rejection and this loss. The, the, your choice to move away and to really not deal with the drama of others has got a lot of people seeing that you make impossible things happen and that you don't just walk away from people for nothing, that you really do love, care, and want the best for people. So guys, what's going on here, okay? Let's see what's going on here. Okay, let's see what's going on here. So we have the nine of wands. I mean, the nine of swords, the ten of wands in reverse, the king of pentacles in the upright. We got the magician in reverse. Then we got the four, five of cups in reverse, the four of wands in reverse, the two of wands in reverse, and then the seven of cups in the upright with the three of cups. There's that third party, guys, that this masculine is thinking about. Now, listen, somebody is very much up in their head. They can't eat. They can't sleep. They're very burdened. But they're letting go of this burden, of this bully, tyrant kind of energy, so that they can stand in their st structure, discipline. Somebody needs a little more discipline because of their lack of discipline. They allowed some kind of manipulation to come in, or they chose to manipulate somebody. This is why somebody needs to reflect and see if, it was all projections or if really this is how they truly felt. This is why somebody is really curious about you because you are making impossible things happen. Somebody is reclaiming back their power. Now, this could be you. This could be an external energy, but you're no longer dwelling on the third parties. You know that that's burdensome. And this is why this King of Pentacles feels as though you have really walked away from some kind of family corporation there's no celebration here somebody is very upset with their choices they knew what they were doing with the two of wands and they chose to do some kind of manipulation with the third parties now there's a lot of illusions here okay guys we're going to clarify this and see exactly what's going on but there's somebody is in a lot of illusions or at least they wanted you to be in a lot of illusions and now somebody can't eat and sleep because you're just not even dealing with this Somebody is trying to get some structure back into their life because there is no celebration. Spirit, what's going on here, okay? So let's clarify that nine of wands. Yes, yeah, somebody is a tyrant with a page of wands. It's the knight of swords and then the nine of cups in the upright. Now listen, somebody was a tyrant. They were very hasty, very impulsive, and now they want to make some kind of big change. They see an opportunity to jump into something, and that something is wish fulfillment towards them. But they have to realize that their dreams can come true, but somebody is very much up in their head about this because of this bully tyrant energy that they have done. This is why you have let go of somebody, okay, the chariot. You have moved forward. You're getting victory. It's the three of cup, uh, three of pentacles with the knight of cups in reverse. Now you had to let go of some kind of working together. Now there could be a lot of people wanting to work together with you, and it is a collaborative team. But you have to put something down from the past. You have to do a lot of forgiving, because there is a lot of unrequited love, and this is probably why you just said, "Listen, I'm not going to deal with this because of the manipulation." There was somebody continuously cheating or having one night stands with third parties. And this is why you chose to move away. Somebody moved right into third parties. You moved right into solitude and self-reflecting. This is why you're, the three of cups is in the upright here. Three of cups is in reverse here. So somebody clearly is um, lacking the, the real celebration. There's a lot of people around them, but they don't like it. Somebody wants to celebrate with you, and it's this King of Pentacles. It's like somebody is really wanting to stand and be structured, disciplined. Maybe somebody was trying to build up their status. Take it as it resonates. The Eight of Cups is there, the Magician in the Upright. 
and then the five of cups again so somebody the five of cups in reverse so somebody clearly is no longer dwelling on the third party they know what they did but somebody is trying to manifest you use creativity they abandoned a situation from the past this tyrant bully energy of these third parties somebody did the reflecting it could be of masculine take it as it resonates but they're curious and they know they can't go back to tomorrow and they know that this unrequited love this manipulation this cheating isn't going to work that's why somebody is trying to really manifest their dreams visualize a better life for themselves spirit guides show me what's going on here yeah five of wands this manipulation or magic that this person has done before because of their insecurities i'm gonna say has got them a lot of fighting so there's a lot of conflict in the external energy whether this is with them or somebody around them take it as it resonates but the strength is in reverse with the with the seven of cups again so somebody clearly tried to make you seem like you were delusional like you had a lot of fantasies or something but somebody has got their tail between their legs now because this magic has just backfired is what it comes down to that's why you're not dwelling on these third parties you know that the apple doesn't fall far fall far from the tree this king of wands is really going towards something somebody i don't know if this is you or somebody around you but somebody really stood up in their power and the king of queen of wands so you got the king and queen of wands here with the with the hangman somebody sees clearly that this jezebel spirit has really tried to keep somebody in a delusion and now they're not dwelling on these third parties of this external bullying somebody has really used somebody for everything they had now there's no more celebration no more victory this is why they're very burdened you have let go of this you're not dwelling you knew that somebody was just unjust they felt righteous over you, very overbearing. And this is why you had to do what you had to do by letting go. You healed from this broken relationship or foundation or lack of celebrations because you knew that the two of swords, that clearly there was some kind of bias, some kind of stalemate. Somebody wasn't telling you the truth when it came to this marriage. The hierophant. Their tradition, morals, integrity, somebody went against who they were to fit into the crowd and now they know that that was the wrong choice because that choice to manipulate or to send energy work or to stay in this very low vibrational corrupt kind of energy was the wrong choice. They knew what they were doing, but it was the wrong choice because now they're full of illusions and the justice is prevailing because you are the psychic you already knew that these people were trying to assassinate your character now these people are being tortured because you still got a brand new slate through all the conspiracy two of wands is the three of wands in reverse somebody wants to go backwards like it's the they're like returning from their travels they're like they're moving back home they lack the foresight to whatever and now they're sitting in this hermit in reverse. They're lonely, they're paranoid, and they know that the choices that they made was because of the past. They can always change this, guys. It's about standing in your real traditions, knowing knowledge, understanding that trial and error brings knowledge. So we have to go through it. At the end of the day, yo, let's see it. Ace of uh, the Page of Pentacles. It's all about getting this new news, okay? Sometimes... We have to be in the dark night of the soul, and then we see the light. Somebody is seeing the light after a long, hard time because of their own choices. Guys, we have to take accountability for this. This is why somebody was in an, a lot of illusions. It's the Eight of Wands, the Ace of Swords. I mean, Eight of Wands in reverse and Ace of Swords in reverse. Somebody is in a lot of illusions because of the lies that they told themselves. They lacked intelligence. They failed to really look at things in a clear perspective. And this is why um, they feel restricted from sending a unicorn a message or sending somebody a message or getting in the download. But Spirit is showing somebody with the Six of Swords that it's time to reclaim back your power, find calmer waters, and really go forward. Somebody is being guided away from the third parties. But they're still being smug. Somebody is in a lot of regret and refuses an offer from source. And that's what's causing them a lot of illusions, okay? So this person is just going to continuously stay in these illusions until they get their mind right and do the healing because they're really sad.
that the choice that they made has really fucked up their foundation. They really thought they had a lot of options, but those options were really, really jacked. And that's why they can't eat, can't sleep, because you have let go. And somebody is really trying to learn how to fucking let go properly. But all they know is unrequited love, heartbreak, manipulation, one night stands. And they're really regretting because they know that the choice was on them to break up this foundation. Look, these are all the same cards here. Look, four of wands in reverse, two of wands in reverse. Somebody really rejected you and went towards these third parties, an apprenticeship with these people. Uh, there was a lot of people collaborating to make sure that you weren't happy, but you're still moving forward with the victory, guys, because there's that five of cups in reverse. You know, I'm telling you, it's all repeating messages. Somebody is really upset. Look, it's the emperor and empress. Yeah, somebody is really, really upset. You're, uh, if you're not pregnant, you're about to be pregnant. Somebody got pregnant, take it as it resonates, put yourself where you belong. But you are the empress, so you, you bring harmony. And you have a stable, structured man or woman, take it as it resonates, flip the rules, guys. Really wanting to focus on you, I'm telling you, you have really... You have got somebody really curious about you, and somebody is taking the lead. That's that emperor, guys. It's not in reverse. They are in the upright. So let's see what else is going on here, okay, and get some more clarification for you guys. Okay, so spirit guides, you got anything else to say to my beautiful collective? Okay, let's switch the decks. Spirit guides, what's going on? Why is this person feeling so goddamn fragmented? Because you're making impossible things happen. Like, seriously, they really didn't think you were going to be able to do this. But you are, and you're defeating a lot of people just because you won't deal with their drama. You withdraw. Yeah, it's the Five of Cups. Somebody is really, really in a lot of regret. A lot of shoulda, coulda, wouldas, maybes, what ifs. And it's the five of four of cups in reverse, the sun, and everything is fine, the ten of swords. All right, guys. You got the six of cups, the lovers in reverse, the knight of wands in reverse, and the four of swords in reverse. At the bottom of the deck is the five, the nine of cups. Somebody sees you as wish fulfillment, but they were very smug. Now they feel like um, a lot of regret. They wish they would have went into their emotions with you. Instead, they went towards people who did not have emotions, did not have love. They were tyrant. They got their energy off of disrespecting other people. This is fucking sickening. But somebody, because of the regret they feel, because of the shame or the remorse, somebody has really reclaimed back their power, has taken self-love. This could be you. This could be an external energy. But God, source, creator, seen exactly what's going on. And even though these ten swords have been in your back, it's going to be okay. This masculine is going to be okay. Whatever situation has happened, it was for a reason. It's just karma. Karma's clearing out. And this is why God says you're still protected. It's just you have to be careful on what you're choosing to do. So you got to be nice. The Six of Cups. Somebody from your past is coming in to give you your flowers, okay? They feel very, very bad. They're very much torturing themselves. Because of the external energy, the choices that they made, they feel very fragmented. They're in some kind of limited fear, limited beliefs that's causing them a lot of fear. They need to put to death something, have a transformation, but they're coming in only after choosing or you not choosing them, okay? This player, player from the Himalaya with this Knight of Wands has chosen uh, the dark side of the moon and now can't heal from some kind of traumatic experience. But Source is telling you that everything is going to be fine. Even if you are this player energy, you can retrieve back your, your authenticity and your power. But it's the Nine of Swords, again, at the heart of the deck. Somebody is truly, truly having a hard time to sleep, to eat. Like, they're having a hard time to cope with the fact that you are the Empress. And this is why so many people have tried to bully you. Because of your status, because of who you are, like, let's see what's going on here, guys. 
Yeah, let's clarify with the same deck, okay? So let's see what's going on here. Spirit Guides, the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups with the Page of Wands. Now, the Page of Wands was in reverse a while ago, so there was a tyrant energy, but now somebody is getting a message in. They don't want to be in this remorse anymore. They want some kind of structure and stability. They want to protect what is theirs. It's the Five of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody no longer wants to fight, but they are. They're, they want to send you a message that they've been standing up for you. When it comes to these third parties, they're no longer juggling their feelings. Now they're taking this cup from source. They're no longer being rejected. They're no longer rejecting their own heart or God's will. Take it as it resonates. But there was a lot of injustice in order to take this cup. And that injustice came from some kind of gold digging energy. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And that's what caused them a lot of heartbreak, a lot of betrayal. So you might have been betrayed by some kind of Queen of Pentacles. But look, you're the fucking star, the sun and the star, guys. This is why you're, you're going to be okay no matter what. Because somebody really did get betrayed by some Jezebel um, gold digger. And yo, they got caught up. And this is why somebody is like, yo, okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stand up for myself. I'm going to stand up for what I believe in because this, it, it, the pain really hurt it. And yo, the, you are the sun and the moon with the eight of cups and the chariot in reverse. So a lot of people didn't want you to move forward to heal, to walk away into a new chapter and really fulfill your goals in life or this person's goals in life. But you still are being able to heal. And God is telling you that everything is going to be okay, that we all need to go through these processes for a reason. It's the six of swords. So then this way we can move away at our own free will, knowing we have learned the lessons properly and now we can move on. Queen of swords. Somebody wants to come towards a queen of swords for a major transformation, major death. But they have to move away and they have to understand that everything will be okay as long as they let go of the past. It's not about money, guys. Somebody was very greedy and they went towards money and look, they got their heart broken. And this is why somebody knows that they can't go back to yesterday. So they need to take the lead. Get out of this fragmented energy because there's no celebrations where they are. This is why somebody is coming in to bring you your flowers, okay? It's the moon in reverse. Whatever's in the dark comes to light. Five of pentacles in reverse and then the two of wands in reverse yes you claim back your power your pentacles your authenticity somebody did because whatever was in the dark is coming to light like you can't hide from this somebody knows they made the wrong choice when it comes to this lover this friendship family an actual lover a job whatever this is whoever this is whatever guys but they made the wrong choice, King of Swords in reverse, yo, Emperor in reverse, and Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, exactly, guys. Somebody was very, very, very immature, very controlling, very abusive, mentally, emotionally, physically, and that's why they went towards something easier, because they didn't want to hurt you. That's why they were a player, but this player is being defeated by their choices because they are not happy in the situation that they're in. Very fragmented, that's clarification, hierophant in reverse, they might have gotten some kind of relationship, marriage even. Like I said, somebody might have got pregnant, who knows, but the eight of wands is there, and you're getting a message in about this player and having like multiple partners, and this is why they can't heal. They might have a sexually transmitted disease or a spiritually transmitted disease. Either way, something is, they're not able to heal from it. That's the hangman in the upright. That's the four of wands, uh, four pentacles in reverse, and then the devil. There you go, guys. And then the seven of cups in reverse. Somebody doesn't have any more options because this codependency, this addiction, sex, drugs, gossip, whatever the fuck this is, has somebody very fucking enlightened that they can't heal from a situation and they definitely can't hold on to you. They have no choice but to let go of some kind of codependency. Somebody's pissed off because of this karmic relationship. They have their tail between their legs because somebody's coming in to offer you a brand new beginning. The Wheel of Fortune, guys, that's going to cause a major power for people because you are the magician. You transmuted the darkness. You wish people well, and people judged you, but you still got the Ace of Cups because you are the truth, the Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. And this is why this King of Wands is coming in. They feel a little bit, well, a lot of bit broken. But the world is there, so there's an ending of completion. Somebody cannot sleep or eat. 
they want to do some kind of work or they try to copy your work but they fell from grace this family and it was a very foolish choice it could be an empress in reverse who is very controlling and um teamed up with an emperor in reverse to control this empress and emperor uh, emperor in upright but I don't know, somebody has very much been defeated, and now they have no more options. They're in a drug-filled haze. They got no more protection, but somebody wants you to put down your guard. Somebody sees you as single, self-sufficient, independent, and you can do this. Look, all these lies, this deception, whoever threw the rock and hid the hand is getting caught up, guys. And it's somebody who is very emotionally unstable. Your fulfillment is coming in because you're able to work with people, but somebody chose to work with a Jezebel and now that Jezebel spying on the queen of cups because yo, you're patient and you got out of a, some kind of mental entrapment and they're stuck feeding their own inner demons, trying to figure out how the fuck they're going to get out of this thing that they're in because they really, really wanted you to be stuck in this distortion and this masculine, this emperor or whomever is coming towards you. It could be a divine feminine. You always put yourself where you belong. They're really looking like, wow, all of this happened because somebody challenged our beliefs or challenged somebody's beliefs and chose to withdraw. The Emperor, the Knight of uh, Wands, and then the Five of Swords. Exactly. Somebody wanted to defeat you, be a player, and control you because you were uncontrollable, because you chose to walk away. Somebody is seeing the truth that these third parties really made a major influence in somebody's life because they weren't a real leader. Now, somebody is a definite leader over here, guys, but there's a lot of fragmented. Somebody is uh, wearing a mask. So as soon as they take off that mask and be honest with themselves, then there'll be a whole known fucking story, you know? But somebody's pissed the fuck off because their slip is showing. Remember, narcissists hate that their fucking slip shows. And that's why the Ten of Swords is there. Somebody wanted you to be betrayed, backstabbed, abandoned, and laughed at because of your gifts. Now somebody is feeling a little bit stupid because their mask is falling off and you're going to get reciprocity. Somebody's coming in to give you your flowers. So take those fucking flowers, okay, guys? Because the Wheel of Fortune is attached to those flowers. It's time to forgive, okay? Six of Wands. Someone feels like they're falling from grace, and it's a major fucking tower right now. And they can't sleep. They can't eat because the mask is falling off. Could be the Emperor in reverse. Father figure, a friend, a distorted masculine. But you have a divine masculine here. You have... That's clarification. You have a partnership here, so it's time to really look inwards. Okay, guys? Bottom of the deck, yeah, somebody really, really is in a mental entrapment. A prison of the mind, a purgatory. And uh, I hope that, you know, they can find a way out of this. But it's these third parts. Somebody needs to work by themselves, okay? Because the company that they were keeping is really targeting them. And it's like they thought that they were um, only hurting this one person when really they were hurting themselves. This is why somebody feels like they're cursed with that devil because of the mask they wore. They're very much up in their head and they don't want to work with these people anymore. And they know that impossible things are happening all around you. And unfortunately, these third parties, mm -mm, they're going to get left in the dust because now somebody is very much aware as to why these people tried to torture you. And it was all because of your gifts of discernment to walk away and not work with these people. You know there's a lot in the dark. These illusions, these manipulations, these dreams. There's a lot of misconceptions. Somebody really misunderstood you. And now they're feeling defeated because you found peaceful self-resolution or at least some kind of resolution. You moved on. And somebody is super mature, super compassionate, wants to come and bring you some kind of balance some affection romance charm i don't know somebody adores you though and that's uh somebody really tried to block this with that page of pentacles in the reverse somebody wanted you to have bad news so that this way you wouldn't believe, you wouldn't um you wouldn't tolerate this person coming in you wouldn't forgive this person but the devil's there guys somebody is very fucking obsessed with you 
so much so in love with you that they're obsessed with you that they did some stupid shit in the background let's see why it's the wheel of fortune because they're bad luck they fucking they they as soon as you walked away from them or as soon as they walked away from you all bad luck started happening so they said that it was your fault and then they didn't want to heal with you people said that it was your fault that these this person was going through all this karma when really it was their motherfucking fault for choosing to work with people they're childish the page of cup Somebody was very abusive towards you. And then they wanted you to be hopeless and in despair. And now that's why they have a lot of bad luck, guys. Somebody needs to really forgive themselves. Be the temperance angel. Somebody went up against a temperance angel. Yo, somebody who brings balance and peace. Now it's time to bring balance and peace to this uh, corrupt family. There's no happiness. Somebody feels trapped in a mental entrapment with that eight of swords and at the heart of the death is the sun guys it's time to be happy it's time to illuminate the truth and it's time to be authentic to your core values or you're going to be in a mental entrapment it's a choice guys we have a choice here so let's get the saint francis oracle back for the last closing message okay. spirit guides what's the last closing message for this beautiful reading if you like it this way let me know okay Spirit guide, show me the last closing reading. Okay, what's the last message? The last message is number 34. And number 34 reduced down to a 7. So you have angelic support and assistance while you're going through this, okay? Memories of life. Security, comfort, and direction. You feel the need for comfort as life can sometimes be difficult when we feel we are battling issues alone you may well be looking for permission to stop whatever you're doing again and start again the feeling of the day is running away from you and taking a toll on your well-being it is okay to take time out once you get your feet firmly back on the ground your mind will be clearer and you will be able to focus on what is important right now we often feel guilty for not doing enough but you are doing plenty and have nothing to prove to anyone only yourself Somebody needs to realize that they shouldn't be caring about what the external world thinks or anything because they are the only person that you have to prove to yourself to is you. And that's why it's time to be present. Be in the present, okay? Take the lead. You can help a lot of people with your testimony because you can change this bully, tyrant kind of energy. Become a prophet. But you gotta take your mask off. You gotta make impossible things happen, guys. Change your fucking perspective. Because somebody's in a mental entrapment because you choose to have to work with them. All of this is because you have the sermon and you knew someone wanted to fuck you over, so you walked away from them. You knew it wasn't real love. If somebody really loved you, they wouldn't have done that to you. So let's get the juice, guys. Let's see what this juice is. Okay, and then I'm going to close the reading. Yeah, somebody acted very impulsively, okay, and wanted to punish you, but your ancestors seen it. Your deities got you, your freedom. Somebody was two faced. You had that act of discernment you were very smart and you are somebody's peace they should have been nice to you but instead they judged you falsely and then because you walked away they wanted to abuse you well you were uh, so stupid now you're moving forward maybe a gemini take it as your resonance that's it. no offense to any i might gemini's guys but gemini is very two-faced okay it's that's a two-faced card but somebody is a slacker guys and they're very envious and pitiful of you spiteful of you because of your freedom because you know the ancestors watch you so you follow the 5d law you yo somebody has issues with themselves because of this wheel of fortune that lies within you you are the high priestess okay guys so you can make it through this masculine and feminine you can make it through this but sagittarius is having a major death right now because of their choices okay spirit guide show me major arcana look the devil yo this devil comes out three fucking times somebody is definitely addicted whether that's to you or to something but they're depressed they're depressed they definitely had a lot of assaulting and this is why the temperance angel, this is the angel of the devil, guys. The light, the dark, needs to come together. There needs to be some fucking forgiveness here. But the earth angel is always going to persevere through all the demonic sex, drugs, and hopelessness, guys. So you need to fucking just switch the roles or else you're going to be forever in this trauma and at war with yourself. Not anybody else, guys. And the government is there, which means that the spiritual law is being involved. And this is why you chose not to work with people because you knew they were going to get defeated in the ancestral realm because they weren't following the fucking rules. They can't heal if they're all up in their fucking head. So you got to take the mask off. 
because somebody is fucking really, really attractive and it's caused a lot of disharmony in whatever situation that they're in. Like I said, somebody might have got married, have kids, whatever, who knows, man, they start a whole fucking family. But look, man, they see you as attractive. Now they're in a mental entrapment wanting to get a message to the unicorn, but this fucking Jezebel third party, um, what do you call it? The um, gold digger is blocking it. <laughs> Yeah, now somebody feels mediocre with that eight of pentacles, like they can't come towards you because somebody has taken them for everything they had. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, you could be this. But somebody sees you very passionate and has a lot of chemistry and wants to come towards your divine feminine, divine masculine. Emperor, Empress. That's there's a distance. You might have had some kind of time out or retreat, but this person has been watching you the whole fucking time. And that's a divine detour, guys. Somebody is really fucking upset and sees bully third parties because, yo, no matter what, you're still gonna make it through this. You're still gonna get through this. You are still gonna accomplish shit. And it says, how can I sur surrender even more in this moment? It says, it is essential to have a clear, strong intention of what you desire, but it's equally important for us to detach from the outcome. It's time to surrender. Let the universe have some breathing room to work. Let go of the wheel and trust so deeply that your trust turns into gratitude for what you cannot see yet, but you know is coming. Today's soul action, know this so deeply that your soul vibrates. You are not alone. Your life has purpose and the more you surrender, the more God can produce miracles in your life. Today's mantra, I surrender, I accept all that cannot change. I release the outcome and I joyfully trust the process. Somebody needs to joyfully trust the process. And this is why they know impossible things happen around the Empress, yo, and the Divine Feminine. So they want to tap into that, but they got to let go of these partying external third parties that are clearly just trying to keep them in a mental entrap and a prison of the mind. So then this way they will be distracted and not come towards their accomplishments. These fucking bullies can't even accomplish half the fucking shit that you've accomplished. So pat yourself on the back, okay, guys? Because the ancestors want you to sing your own song. Okay, remember, we all have a song, and it's time to sing your song. Do not conform. Go against the grain, guys. I love yous. I hope this resonated. Please like, comment, and subscribe as you're leaving to show support to the channel. Like I said, if you like this way of me reading, hit the smash button. Let me know, okay, in the comments if you want a more personal reading. I'll put all my information there. Thank you very much. I love you. Stay blessed. And if you want to purchase any of my merch, I'll put my email there. And if you want to donate back to the channel, I'll put my PayPal there as well. Nothing, and I mean nothing, gets unseen. I love you guys. And the Tasha T message is, I know you feel like you're falling, but you got this. Okay? As above, so below. No matter where you are in this world, you got this. Remember, your accomplishments, you accomplished so much up to now. So you can accomplish anything you want. Put your mind to it. Set yourself a goal and make sure you don't stop until you reach it. I love you guys. Bless. Bye.